Uh, my name is Eric Smith, and I'm a candidate for uh, District 10 Board of Supervisors. Uh, your question was about Muni. Yes. Muni definitely needs some reform. I don't know that you want to go after the drivers. I think the management is top heavy, but I think the supervisors are limited in what they can do about that. Until we have more control over the MTA board, uh, things might remain the same. If we can promote a real transit first agenda, cycling, carpooling, um, congestion tax is a very interesting idea. They do it in England. I know a lot of people hate it. I think uh, Supervisor Jake McGoldrick tried to introduce it once and was shot down with the Chamber of Commerce and uh, several other folks, but we need to do a lot better about that. Um, I'm all for the Central Subway, but when I think about the hundreds of millions of dollars that are going to be spent for that, couldn't we improve Muni with that money, improve service, uh, make it safer, make it run on time? It shouldn't take 45 minutes to go from Visitation Valley to Mission Bay, and no real decent bus service up in the hills or anywhere else. So, yeah, I would want to look at that. I don't know if that's a charter amendment. I don't know if that's a ballot measure. I don't know what that looks like, but I'd be happy to investigate it because it's not working right now. And I love Muni. I mean, it should, it should be a lot better than this. Kids use Muni. They use it probably more than anybody. And they need to be able to travel all in on time, safely, seniors, the whole deal. I'm actually uh, the only candidate that helped, well, that helped Muni convert its entire fleet to biodiesel with the uh, San Francisco Department of the Environment, as well as uh, um, the San Francisco Biofuels Cooperative and uh, Micro Green Depot. So I'm very proud of that. You see all the little biodiesel stickers on everywhere. So that was kind of, kind of happy we did that. We made San Francisco in 2007 the largest city in the world to use cleaner burning biodiesel. And then we created the Green Cycle Program that uh, allows us to collect, I don't know, something like 30,000 gallons a month. And we take it over to the wastewater treatment plant. We've got a sort of a Rube Goldberg set up over there. And we also were able to create a green jobs program out of that as well. Um, and we hope to expand that as sort of a cross training. And then looking at how to really address the job issues. You've got labor that don't really want to do the local hiring mandate deal. You've got the local hiring mandate guys whose folks aren't quite ready for union. So we need to come up with some sort of way to make those guys work together. Is it a vocational school? Is it some sort of training with the public schools and city colleges and the like? Is it a union apprenticeship? I don't know, but I'd like to have all those folks at the table to figure it out. They do have local mandating in places like Cleveland and other spots, so I think, I think we can do that. That'd be my quick plan for you. Beyond that, uh, I'd want to meet with the shareholders and the stakeholders and the folks that actually ride me. The transit union folks, Dave Snyder does a fantastic job, former executive director of the Bike Coalition, and he used to be on, the, I believe, on the board of Spur. So, knowledgeable minds are a great transit activists in this city. I mean, we're, San Francisco is like no other place. I mean, we kind of, when I look around at some of the problems here, and I, and I ask folks, are there other cities that we can look to to come up with innovative ideas? They look back at me and go, no, because we're the first to do it, we're the only ones to do it, and that's very, very true. So we have to constantly come up with something creative, and I think we've got some great minds here. And I think that this district actually deserves that kind of creative thinking. I mean, the, the green economy, the green movement, all the potential out here. I mean, that's some of the work I do. I convert waste into work and junk into jobs. I know it sounds like a cliche, but that's what I do. Transporting stuff more efficiently and hiring from the community and making sure that those folks that need it the most get what they need. So that's my story, and I'm uh, sticking to it. Eric Smith. And there you have it.